Oh no, dude. Wait, I'm in the 100th percentile for autism. Testosterone level. Holy shit, the giga chat. Look at all these green things here, mate. Look at that, the literal giga chat, bro. The literal giga chat. I mean, I was worried that I was low T, but I mean, you can clearly see I actually am high T as fuck. Here we go, chat. So a long, long, long time ago, like more than a year, two years ago, a year ago? I don't know what happened. A long time ago, I got my genome sequenced, okay? And not my proper one. It's like the, the uh, not like a, not like a little soy, like 2% one. A full genome sequencing. And it took, like, literally, I'm not even kidding, only just yesterday. They only just yesterday after, I mean, dude, I emailed them like 20 times and instability was like, he, I was like, yeah, good luck, bro. Good luck trying to email them. He started emailing them as well. They finally managed to fix the account and my shit actually works. So I had the full genome sequence available right now. 100% genome sequence. Big dick, 2,000 dollar sequencing. What are we gonna look at here, chat? Let's have a look. Let's have a look at some stuff. Appearance and hormones. Earwax type. You likely have wet airwax. Wait, what does that mean? You have wet airwax. I don't have wet. I don't have wet airwax. What? Is this? Why is this in here? Your genotype has not been described in association with this trait. Wait, so I don't have the testosterone? What does that even mean? No, this doesn't mean shit. Okay, let's go. Behavior and perception. Alcohol sensitivity. Your genotype has not been described. You have. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You have average odds of being able to smell asparagus-related odor in urine. Yeah, I can. I can smell the shit out of it, bro, let me tell you. Caffeine use. You most likely have a faster caffeine metabolism and increased daily caffeine consumption habits. What can I say, boys? What can I say? No, I actually did the uh, I did the test for this, by the way. And I actually have all the uh, caffeine genes that make you metabolize caffeine fast, which basically means I get like health benefits from drinking coffee. It's correct. Okay, you are likely to be sensitive to, chew uh, to chewing sounds. Yep, chewing sounds are fucking disgusting. I hate it. I can't stand it. Bro, what, do you know what's the ultimate worst one? It's when someone's got a chewing sound, okay, and then wait for it. They got the jaw click. Oh, bro, the jaw click. Do you you guys know what I'm talking about? You have the jaw click? Oh, I cannot stand the jaw click, bro. I don't know what to tell you. You're at higher risk of becoming addicted to nicotine. Oh, shit. Do you know what, chat? Do you know what's crazy? They, I had that one cigar that one time, and I keep thinking about getting good cigars. I keep thinking to myself, man, I need some more cigars. Man, I need some more cigars. I need to get some more cigars. Uh, But yeah, I don't know. Pain sensitivity? You have an average pain sensitivity? Uh, it's way better than average. It's way better. It's like, well, what I mean by sensitivity is the opposite. I have an insane pain threshold. I've just, that's just from training. I've just trained. Basically, the way I, what I put it down to, chat, is uh, my pain sensitivity. I become numb to the pain uh, because I had ingrown toenails for like 10 years. And it was like, it was basically like razor blades on my toes all the time. And it just got to the point where I'd be like, you know, whatever, dude. Snacking behavior. You are likely to snack in between males an average amount. Oh my God. What the fuck is that, bro? What the fuck is that? Yeah, I mean, that's probably why I'm getting so fucking fat, bro. Okay, body and athleticism. Not sure. You are more likely to be taller than average. <laughs> what happened, dude? What happened? Oh, look at this. You are likely to have average longevity. Wait, average? What the fuck does that even, what does that even mean, bro? I have an increased sight chance of being nearsighted. Oh, no, dude. Okay, nutrition and diet. Oh, no, sweet tooth, bro. What is this? You have an increased chance of consuming higher than average quantities of sugar. Oh. <sighs> You are predisposed to have somewhat lower levels of B12. Your genotype... Okay, what? You're predisposed to have somewhat lower levels of vitamin D, dude. Microbiome. Let's check out the microbiome section here, chat. What is this? Streptococcus species are non-motile, spherical, gram-positive, typically anaerobic. 80th percentile. Inflammatory, inflammatory, inflammatory bowel disease. Natural carcinoma. Aging. Obesity. What the fuck is this? 95th percentile. Of hemophilius. Wait, and the vagina and the mouth? Wait, what the fuck? Inflammatory bowel disease, aging, rheumatoid arthritis, 40th percentile. Wait, have I got have I got inflammatory bowel disease? What does that even mean? Aging. Aging. This is not helping me at all. Throat cancer. 70th percentile of this. Obesity. Inflammat wait, what the fuck is this? Is there anything positive here? Wait, do I just all have bad shit? Pancreatic cancer, aging, aging, pancreatic cancer, aging, obesity. What does this mean? What am I supposed to do with this? It's all bad things. There's nothing good here. Polygenic score. Let's search by polygenic score, surely, right? Yeah, I want to search by polygenic score. Okay, here we go. All right, corneo, hysteresis. What is that? What is that? What is, this is not good, chat. I'm in the hundredth percentile of this. Measure the shock absorbing ability of the cornea. 
doing it. Oh no, it's something to do with my eyes. Are my eyes fucked? Am I blind? Wait, I'm gonna click this. Let's, let's see what this is. This is the way I find it. Ocular diseases. Oh no, bro. What the fuck is this, dude? What the fuck is that? Insomnia, a hundredth percentile. <laughs> what? What? I mean, I don't get the best sleep, but I'm, I do eventually get to sleep. Wait, rank one insomnia? Read your detailed results. The, to calculate your genetic predisposition to insomnia, we summed up the effects of genetic variants that were linked to insomnia. Uh, the variants can be found on the table below. The variants highlighted in green have positive effect sizes and increase your genetic predisposition to insomnia. So that means I'm gig. I have giga predisposition to insomnia, right? That's what it's saying. It's saying I've got. It's like I'm. I'm giga. You probably calculate your polygenic score in insomnia at 0. 0.87 to determine your score is high or low. You can it to the scores of 5,000 other users. We found that your polygenic score is in the hundredth percentile. This means that it is higher than the polygenic score of 100% of people. Well, that we must. I must be tied with other people, right? Must be tied. So basically, chat. What it means is, if it says insomnia, then whatever this is, if it's like 50 percentile, that means I am like got more insomnia trace and 50 percent of people so like apparently i'm the rank one insomnia insomnia guy but i think is i get shit sleep but it's not that bad okay vitamin d literal vitamin d god of course chan of course gastro reflux disease oh shit bro oh shit bro why can't i just control c and control b what what is this what the fuck is this dude am i just dead or uh, um Am I just dead? A condition where stomach acid frequently flows back into the tube connecting with the mouth and the stomach, causing heartburn and possibly damage lining to the esophagus. Oh no, dude. I get that sometimes. Oh, what the fuck? Why are they 100%? I've searched it by that. HDL cholesterol. All right, who cares about that? <laughs> Autism spectrum disorder. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Literally, what the fuck? <laughs> Let me just confirm this is what we think it is, chat. Let's actually just confirm it, just in case it's maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Doesn't maybe it's different. Neurological condition affecting social interaction, communication, behavior, characteristics include repetitive behaviors and difficulty with social communication. Oh no, dude. Wait, I'm in there one hundred percent up for autism. Wait, how? Wait, so how? I don't understand. Against 5,000 other people, we commit it to the scores of 5,000 other users. Wait, she's telling me I'm, I must be tied, right? I can't be rank one autism. That doesn't make any sense. Oh my God. God, to calculate your genetic uh, predisposition to autism disorder, we summed up the genetic predisposition to autism. Wait, we summed up the genetic variants that were linked to autism spectrum disorder in the study that this report is based on. These variants can be found in the table below. So I'm, I'm literally like, I've got all the traits. So it, well, they got a bunch of people with autism, and then they have all these traits, and I've got the exact same traits. Jesus fucking Christ. Adolescent idiopathic scoliosis. Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, no. Hey, ambidexterity. I used to be ambidextrous until I broke my arm in fucking like three places. I was, I used to be left-handed. I was left-handed and I completely broke this arm. And then while it was broken, I was slamming it into shit to show off how strong my cast was. After I broke, so I'd broken it completely in two places. Like the whole thing bent and like the bone was coming out the arm. Like it was fucked. And then anyway, I was slamming it against the fucking bar metal bars to show how powerful it was and then i broke my arm again and then i became right-handed let's go dude i mean there it is chat i mean basically irrefutable evidence that i'm an autism by the way chat i'm just saying you guys say i don't have autism and i'm just making it up um clearly clearly i do have fucking a uh, giga autism uh and that's just a reality here that's just a reality testosterone level holy shit holy shit the giga chat look at all these green things here mate look at all these things associated with tea bro look at all this tea mate look at that the literal giga chad bro the literal giga chad oh my god i'm a fucking rank one testosterone god apparently I mean, I was worried that I was low T, but I mean, you can clearly see I actually am high T as fuck. Uh, stall frequency, okay, so yeah, I do have to take shits quite often, to be honest. I do have to take shits quite often. Um, so yeah, I mean, wait, I mean, how often do you guys take shits? How often do you guys take shits? I, I take, I'll take shits, like, on a good day, two times a day. You know, on a bad day, it'll be either one time, or it'll be three, four times, you know, on a bad, like, but ideal, two times a day. Oh shit, what the fuck? Rheumatoid arthritis? Oh no, dude. Arthritis? I mean, bro, my hips, I'm not even kidding. My hips ache all the time. I hope that's not what this is. 
I hope it's not arthritis, chat. My hips constantly, they just constantly ache. Schizophrenia, classic, classic. Okay, schizo. I'm just... <laughs> oh my god, I got a lot of genes associated with schizophrenia. I Maybe I shouldn't do too many mind-altering drugs, because that can be triggered, right? You can, like, trigger schizophrenia by doing some mind-altering drug, right? I'm gonna stay away from drugs, chat. But, like, I'm gonna stay away. Let's stay away from, like, the really honest. Testicular germ cell tumors. Uh, what the fuck is that, bro? Let's use the, uh, GPT over here, bro. Cancer in the male sex cells produced by the testicles. Oh, shit! Oh, shit, I'm gonna get nut cancer. I've got arthritis. I've got scoliosis. Oh, depression! Oh, the... <laughs> Fuck. Mosaic lost chromosome. Ah, oh, shit. Fucking just, I've got cancer now as well. Trigger finger. Fucking trigger finger. Autism again. Like, I've got another one. Another autism. There's another autism ranking, apparently. The complete god gaming beast. I'm this ultra autistic, chat. I'm this fucking schizo autist. You better watch out, boys. You better, you better watch out. Immunoglobulin A neurotherapy. Oh my god, what is that? Bipolar disorder? I mean, I ain't got that. No shot, I got- I'm like the least bipolar guy out there. Not for real. Bipolar means you go like crazy one way and crazy the other way. I am very- I'm very consistently in a range. Loneliness. Jesus. I mean, when Abby went to fucking Scotland for like six months- Uh, not six months, for like six weeks. It was a bit lonely. I didn't see anyone. I didn't see any human beings for, for weeks. But, I mean, it was like only after like- I'm talking like- Th three days. It took me like, three days, and I was like, okay, like this is kind of sad now. You know, you, you know, you, it's kind of sad. But no, I don't think someone with loneliness would feel chronically lonely, right? Which that is just, uh, I just don't think that's me at all. All right, have we looked at everything now, chat? Uh, deep ancestry. I don't understand what this is. I looked at everything, chat. I looked at everything. All I can tell you, chat, is don't get this. Do not get this. It costs way too much, and the customer service is like the literal worst. Absolutely, do not get Nebula Genetics. I cannot. I cannot give a worse review. Because he is. God damn, damn.